Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm in the shade right now, but won't be in a few moments. I've been testing these CalSun 200 watt 16 bus bar bifacial panels for a few days now. Uh, very impressive results so far. So today I'm gonna catch it on film for you so you can see how impressive they are too. So let's get right into it. Gonna test these two CalSun 200 watt bifacials. We'll call this one right here panel A, this one panel B, check consistency between the two. I'm working with some mixed clouds and sun, if you can see the reflection of the sun in the clouds right there. So as soon as the clouds clear, I'm gonna take some readings uh, best I can on these bifacials and see what the real world performance is. And for reference, we are on a grass background, non-reflective, so not ideal to get the most out of a bifacial. You put some white rock or some gravels or reflective metal roof, things like that, you get more power from the backside of the back sheet on the panel right there. So just be aware of full test conditions. And the outdoor ambient temperature, 87.9 degrees. And I've got a type K on the back of the panel to get a module temperature. Module temperature currently 122.3 degrees Fahrenheit, 50 Celsius. You can see the last track right there without even being in full sun. Now we're in full sun, 250 watts out of a 200 watt rated bifacial panel. Wow. And just for posterity to show you the leads off the LA Joy meter are going to the Cal Sun panel right here. Let the clouds clear and I'll take another reading. Okay, I'm getting clearing skies, so I'm going to track the Cal Sun 200 watt bifacial again, 235 still. Still got some clouds up there. So give it just a minute and we'll check it again. I want to show you everything about this panel. All right, I'm getting clearing of the sky now. The clouds are moving out of the way. So I'm going to track the Cal Sun 200 watt panel again, 246.8. Still got a little diffuse cloud overhead. So I'll give it a second and track it again. All right, the clouds have moved away from the sun, so track this Cal Sun 200 watt panel again, 248.5. Module temperature is 125 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, about a half hour past the original test. It has warmed up outside. The ambient is 91.2 degrees Fahrenheit now. The panel temperature, rear of the panel, is 138 degrees Fahrenheit now, 58.9 Celsius. So I believe that is fully heat soaked. So I'm gonna get you a completely hot panel tracking right here under mostly clear skies, got a little water vapor. So bear in mind with that, 239.4, 90 degree plus ambience. The panel has been outside for well over an hour, hour and a half now. Of course, there's been mixed clouds, but uh, the module temperature is pretty warm and we're still well above the name plate rating on these Cal Sun panels. That's pretty impressive performance. So I'm gonna track panel A one more time. I'm gonna switch over to panel B. There we go, 241. So more to do with the sky clarity than the actual panel temp because the panel is still, there you go, 140. 60 degrees Celsius on the back of the panel, still throwing down big numbers. Current sky conditions at time of test, you can see the diffuse water vapor. Uh, it's quite hot and humid today. Let's see what the actual ambient is now. Um, 95.3 panel a so the module temperatures on these panels roughly 144 degrees fahrenheit 62 celsius moving over to panel b now cal sun panel b test now let me get that where you can see it and going to do a manual track on the panel b from cal sun 231.2 all right cal sun panel b test 240.3 wow and these are cal sun model db 200w by facials right there you can see the transparent back sheet these are 16 bus bar cells on these panels arranged in rows of four by ten four by ten half cut modules very efficient they're claiming 25 percent efficiency on these modules. And of course, if you are new to solar panels, a bifacial with that transparent back sheet allows you to pick up some extra power from reflective light. Uh, best to use a reflective background, not a dark background, but you can pick up extra power on the back. Of course, this is the front, this is the back. So if you're on a light color background, you get some extra photons bouncing on the back for the cells to capture. And this is the full spec sheet that comes with the panels right there. So I'll pause this screen so you can make note of all the data.
and the panel leads are roughly two feet in length and they are four millimeter conductors i believe yes one by four millimeter squared conductor surface area i want to get you a close-up of the back sheet right here to show you the clarity on the back of the cell modules right there pretty clear back sheet on that and i'll show you the tempered glass right here on the front of the cell so not bad not bad at all I'll get you some measurements on the panel now. So roughly 51 and a quarter tall. And then roughly 30 and 5 sixteenths in width. Then thickness of the frame, roughly 1 and 3 eighths. Almost forgot that you wanted a shading test as requested off the last video. So there we were a second ago, 179. I'll do it again live for you right here. 173. 176 so not bad being shaded all right so let's put some some more shading on so if you got that much shade coverage you probably need to relocate your panels anyhow but we're gonna check it and see what it does so let's track it right there 119.5 hit it one more time 120.6 with that much shading on it which again this is bifacial so having the transparent back sheet does help with that a little bit so i'm gonna share my final thoughts on the calsun db 200 w bifacial monocrystalline solar panel 16 bus bar um i'll sum it up in one word wow I mean, that's pretty much it. These are super impressive 200 watt panels going well above and beyond their rating, even in non-STC, uh, less than ideal conditions. These are real performers. And if you're interested in looking further into these panels or doing a price check, remember, I'm not gonna quote you any prices nowadays because of volatility in the market, but I'll include a convenient link in the video description down below so you can check out current pricing if you're interested in these panels. Um, their 100 watt panels were excellent. These are just superb. Uh, highly recommend these panels. I'm gonna hook them up, run them long-term. I'll keep you updated periodically. Sorry to interrupt you at the end, but remember, CalSun also has 100 watt standard monocrystalline panels that are very good performers as well. I have a link in the video description if you want to check them out as well. So what do you think about these CalSun 200 watt bifacial panels? Please let me know down in the comment section below. And while you're there, please let me know if you already have any bifacial panels or what kind of panels you do have. Appreciate y'all. Y'all take care. Be safe. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. Special thanks to CalSun for providing these samples for field testing and evaluation so I could demonstrate the performance of your panels. Thank you.